Bone and Joint Injuries Bone and joint injuries are common occurrences in daily life. Physically active people such as those participating in sports are more likely to suffer these types of injuries. The elderly and those with a physical disability are also at high risk for fall-related sprains, strains, and breaks. Sprains occur when excessive force or abnormal motion of a joint causes an associated ligament to stretch beyond its normal limit, leading to a tear. This can result in pain, swelling, and bruising. Injuries that cause sprains can also cause fractures, which often require x-rays. The first aid care for both sprains and broken bones includes the following. 1. Ensure the scene is safe and wear personal protective equipment. 2. Apply gauze to any open wounds. 3. Apply an ice pack to the injured area for up to 20 minutes. 4. Encourage further evaluation by a health care provider and avoid use of the injured part. Call 911 EMS if any of the following are present. 1. Open wound over a joint. 2. Abnormal position or bent extremity. 3. Obvious joint dislocation. Consider the following as special circumstances that should be discussed. An open or compound fracture occurs when the bone breaks through the skin. Do not attempt to push the bone back in and or straighten the extremity. Bones that are in an abnormal position or bent should be splinted in place. Do not attempt to manipulate or correct an abnormally positioned bone or joint. A splint can protect an injured extremity. A splint can be made by using magazines, wood, or rolled up towels. Pad the injured extremity, if possible, by using a towel or cloth. Place splint material on either side of the injured extremity and secure in place using tape or gauze. Make sure that the splint is not too tight. The fingertips or toes in a splinted extremity should remain warm and pink. Seek immediate care in a medical facility. Amputations occur when part of the body is accidentally cut off. Because surgeons may be able to reattach an amputated part, it should always be transported to the hospital with the person. When dealing with an amputation, do the following. 1. Ensure scene safety, get the first aid kit, and put on personal protective equipment. 2. Activate the emergency response system by calling 911 EMS. 3. Apply direct pressure to the bleeding area using gauze. 4. Locate the amputated body part and care for it as instructed below. 5. Stay with the person until more advanced care arrives. When dealing with an amputation, do the following. 1. Wear personal protective equipment. 2. Locate the amputated part. 3. Gently rinse the amputated part with clean water. 4. Wrap the amputated part in gauze and place it in a plastic bag. Seal the plastic bag. 5. Fill up another bag with ice, and place the first bag with the amputated part in the ice bag. Seal the ice bag. 6. Write the person's name on the bag. 7. The amputated part and the person should be transported together to the hospital. 